Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a collaboration with my really good friend Lindsay and I'm gonna leave her channel information down below and then I'll leave the link for her video down below and we're both going to be making Disneyland Halloween treats. So you guys know that I love Disneyland. I'm like a super huge Disney fan and I love Halloween so we thought this would be a fun thing to do Disneyland Halloween you know okay so what I'm gonna be making are the pretzel sticks that you can find at Disneyland that are just like covered in sprinkles and covered in candy you can usually find them like next to the Tigger tails and we're gonna be making two different ones so we're gonna be making just the sticks with like sprinkles on them and then I found these other cool ones on Pinterest and they were called Ursula tails I thought those looked so cool uh, not Ursula tails did I say Ursula Ta <laughs> Ursula tentacles so those were so cool it's basically just the press so you just need pretzel sticks or the pretzel rods the fat ones and purple candy melts I got these at Michaels and chocolate chips that's all for the Ursula tentacles and then we're going to also be decorating some other ones with these fun Halloween sprinkles. Okay, so the first one we're going to work on are, is going to be the Ursula tentacles. And you, I already made one right here. So that's kind of what it's going to look like. So you just want to melt your candy melt. Follow the package instructions. What I usually do is I melt my candy melt in the microwave like 30 to 40 seconds at a time. Stir it. Um, keep doing that until it's melted and then I'll usually add some vegetable oil to it it'll help thin it out you can even add shortening um, or another way to melt it is if you have a candy melt warmer it's like a little pot that you plug in and it keeps it warm I don't have one of those so I always just melt mine in the microwave so take the stick the pretzel stick and then we're going to cover about like three-fourths of the way down And then just top off some of the excess. And then take your chocolate chips. I like to have the flat side facing out or kind of like to the side and stick it on kind of like sideways like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's, the, it's really bright outside so the lighting is kind of bad right now. So sorry about that you guys. So just stick that around all the way around and if you want, you can even add some, some more sprinkles, like little blue ones, kind of like to resemble, like, you know, it gives it a little bit of shininess. But I'm just going to do that. And then we're going to set it on the plate. Oop, one fell off. So we're going to set that on the plate and let that set. And then we're going to, after I'm done assembling all of these, we're going to put it in the refrigerator and let them set. And then to make the other ones... These are the ones that you would see at Disneyland. This is like the more traditional Halloween ones. Um, I don't know if it's covered with chocolate. It might be, but I'm just gonna use candy melts because I've already got a ton of it melted. And then I'm gonna use these sprinkles because these are like the traditional colors that you would see there. It's black, purple, and orange. I think theirs might have white on it as well, but these are the ones that I have. So I'm just going to cover this up with the sprinkles. All the way around. And there you go. This would be perfect for kids parties or treats for their classmates. You can like put them in little candy bags, the clear candy bags. Oh, look at me. I'm putting sprinkles on and I didn't even put the candy melt on. Okay, so let's finish this last one. Okay, so then sprinkles. This one is really pretty. It's super bright with the orange and the black. And I'm dropping sprinkles all over the floor. I hear them bouncing. So I should have used a bigger bowl, but that's okay. Look at that. So I just moved the camera to the other side of the, the kitchen so I could give you guys a better look. It's better lighting. So there's all four different ones that, well, three different ones that I made. 
it's really really easy to do i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna set these in the refrigerator now so they can harden and stay tuned for next week's video it's going to be the beginning of my holiday baking i know i think i said that last week but it's actually going to be next week so next week's video is going to be um pumpkin cream cheese muffins and that is like a homemade recipe so it's a you know from scratch recipe i hope you guys will enjoy that video and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye everyone